Hi, this is Rizwan and you're watching the Indian Weekender. The holy month of Ramadan is just a few days away and this year, we Kiwi Muslims are indeed going to witness a very different Ramadan with social distancing in place and New Zealand now going into level 3 uh, from Tuesday next week. Today we are going to speak to Mr. Tahir Nawaz, a JP, a senior analyst of Muslim affairs based in Wellington and he is also the president of International Muslim Associations of New Zealand, Iman, based in Wellington. Assalamu alaikum, brother Nawaz, how are you doing today? Salam, peace and blessings upon all of you and all the audience as well. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we, by the grace of Allah, we're doing very well in Wellington. Um, how is the, uh, how's the lockdown treating you and your family? Yes, personally, uh, uh, myself, uh, I think we are making the most of it. Uh, and I think uh, personally, myself and my family would think that uh, is a blessing from uh, the Lord. Uh, um, because uh, it's giving us a very special and unique time uh, within our family. And uh, our bonding is getting more stronger, especially with our kids while I got three daughters. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, it seems that you are making the most of uh, most of this lockdown, which is uh, being uh, close with the family and uh, making your bonds with your family a little stronger than before. Yeah. So uh, the Ramadan is about to start in the next two or three days. Probably will. Uh, when are we going to sight the moon? By the way. Yeah, I mean we're going to be doing a moon sighting on uh, Thursday night and Friday night as well. So first uh, sighting will be on Thursday night and then if the moon sighted, then the, uh, the Ramadan should be start on Friday. If not, then it would be on Saturday morning. Yeah. So how different are we looking at uh, Ramadan for this year? Um, we as a community, uh, we as a community for years, we have been uh, going out, having communal iftar meetings, uh, having 30 days of Taravi prayers, the special prayers in the evening, and uh, calling our friends to our houses for iftar parties, uh, as well as, you know, at different office organizations uh, as well. So how different is it going to be since we are observing social distancing in New Zealand? Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, as you, we all know, this is, uh, the first time in the New Zealand history that we are going to be experiencing something totally different, totally unique, and uh, it's uh, it's a big test and uh, for for us as a Muslim that uh, because the mosques will be closed uh, during the month of Ramadan and uh, that will put us on a lot of challenges in terms of our faith where we are customized and used to with the bigger gatherings with uh, getting um, together and it's all about that thing we have that unique perspective of, uh, of our Ramadan that will not be there so that's why it's going to put us on a bigger challenge uh, but there is the opportunity for as a community, as a Muslim um, um, community we have, that we should be using this time at the best that we can, because it might never happen again that in a history, in our, our lifetime, that we will experience that again. So there is a many things we can do uh, as, a, as a family while we are there in a home lockdown that, uh, uh, the most important thing is that while um, we are there, there is a issue there that we know that we are not used to as a as a human being, uh, regardless of Muslim or not, to be to be yes. in a harm together. So that's something that's 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 a bigger challenge put uh, uh, for us while we are fasting and hungry, and especially when we got our little kids there. Yes. So the important thing is that we have to aware be aware of the stress levels. And we have to recognize the system symptoms that when we feel that we are a bit anxious or we are our stress level is going high, so we need to have the ideas what we can do. Either we're going to go back and continue reading Quran, or it's the best time to go for a walk, or get a fresh air, or to get involved with the kids and do some activity um, that will help them as well to keep engaged and get through this uh, the yes. fasting period. Yeah. Indeed. So, uh, to the non-Muslim, uh, non-Muslim uh, uh, viewers of ours who are joining this video or who are watching this video, just to give yeah. you a brief about what Ramadan is, uh, it's the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, 
uh, it's observed for one whole month. Adults uh, over the age of 12 or 13, they are uh, they have to fast, which means from dawn at the before just before sunrise till the sunset, dusk. People observing fast, men, women, or uh, any adults, even children, are allowed to do that. They cannot have anything, not even water, at the strike of the azan, which is. Uh, just as at Maghrib that we call at sunset, there will be a zan and the people can uh, people can open their fast with their families. Uh, during this time, we also observe a special prayers, which is called Tarawi, uh, which is uh, a special prayer done during this time, especially at mosque. But this year, we won't be uh, having that. And at the end of these uh, 30 days, we observe uh, Eid, which is uh, the commemoration of the 30 days of uh, fasting. And it is all done for faith. Ramadan is a very, very special month for the Muslim community, not just in New Zealand, but across the globe. Speaking about fasting, are there any concessions of people for people who cannot fast? Yeah, absolutely. I think Islam is the, the religion that's the most easy relation, religion to follow. Uh, there is no compulsion um, when we say there is a compulsion there that we have to do the fasting. But at the same time, uh, our Lord have given us the most relaxed religion where if you are not fit, if you are not healthy, uh, then you don't have to fast. Similarly, the, the young kids that they don't have to fast as well, they have to be get trained when they be fasting. They're not sort of straight away, they have to start in fasting from morning to evening. They can be doing a half day or start with a few hours and so on. Similarly, the people they are, uh, especially uh, with talking about COVID-19, the people, they have symptoms of COVID-19 and they are uh, under the treatment. Uh, there is exemption there as well, as long they take this professional advice from the doctor. And if doctors uh, um, uh, uh, recommend that it's better for them not, then they don't have to. Because uh, preserving a human life is more important than the fasting, because the fasting always can be replaced by doing a fast after the Ramadan. And that's something that we also always have to remember and keep keep that in our mind. Uh, just to let our viewers know one more thing that uh, during this Ramadan or during this, especially during this Ramadan, uh, pilgrims or Muslims from all over the world, they also travel to Saudi Arabia, uh, Mecca for to, uh, to offer a pilgrimage called Umrah. So this year, uh, since uh, because of the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, for the first time uh, in a very long time, uh, Umrah has been cancelled uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia as well. So, uh, Brother Nawaz, what could you tell us? Uh, how is the best way to utilize this time? Uh, there are people who are working from home. There are children in the house uh, who, who may, might not be going to school. And there are women in the house as well who might be working or may not be working. So, what is the best way to utilize this month? both uh, as a community as well as religiously. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the first thing probably I think I have touched on that uh, be aware of the stress levels, make sure that you control yourself. That's the one of the most important thing that, you know, uh, because you are fasting as well at the same time. The other yes. thing I will say that the recommended is that uh, I have to have the limit in the media consumption. Uh, because media is is one of the we are taking a lot of advantage from it, but at the same time we're spending too much time on the media uh, towards the news and focusing on the uh, on on the things that uh, and that taking a lot of our time. So we have to make sure that we utilize this month wisely by doing things that is going to benefit beneficial for them during the month of Ramadan. So the best way to keep a routine that how you're going to do your things, start to make the chats, start to make their planning now that what time you're going to be getting up, what time you want to have a sleep and what time you want to do your late prayer or tarawi and how you're going to engage with your family during this period, uh, that you're going to be running some classes for them, are you going to do a study circle together with them or maybe the best time that you might be able to help in your family then do a cooking together so it's all part it's all part of our ibadah is all part of our prayer when we work um, uh, with the family and help in the family as well and uh, this month of ramadan is also month of quran as well uh, that's 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 uh, because the Quran was revealed on this month. So 
it's the most important for us to be connected with the Quran back back to the Quran again, and because that's where is our guidance is. And also uh, another important thing I would like to mention is about uh, maintaining the healthy diet. Uh, it's, it's very as easy and tempting that in uh, in the morning we can have a a lot of mail and, yes. <laughs> and, and go back to sleep and that's yes. not healthy while you are you know, staying in a home mm -hmm. and uh, to also ensure that you keep hydrated yourself have plenty of drink um, uh, in the sugar and in the as well the yeah. yes yeah yes. The, the other part i would like to mention that is important to have that some sort of activity or exercise because that will help you and is is one of the sunnah as well from yes, Prophet Sallallahu yes. Alaihi Wasallam that that's in and the, and another thing is that relieves the stress. If you're going for a walk, it's gonna clear your mind, get the fresh air in, take the deep breaths in, and 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 it will reduce your stress level as well. And the most important than this one is that engage in the prayers and dua. Is that's the one of the most powerful powerful tool as a Muslims we have that we speak to the, our Lord, to the God, Allah, uh, and whatever worries us. Um, uh, at the moment when I'm looking at it, uh, uh, not as a Muslim perspective, uh, as, a, as a general New Zealander, where yes. stress yes. level is very high, domestic violence is very high. There's Indeed. like cases Indeed. that uh, I am dealing with, they are an um, Coming, committing suicide cases that I'm dealing with it. So I know this period is a very challenging period as a Muslim for us that while all these things going on and we're gonna be fasting, but in the other hand, we also have to be sort of sure about it that we will have a better reward as well if we can get through this successfully. So we have a bigger challenge as a Muslim and yes. I am, uh, in in uh, opinion, and, and I totally trust that inshallah we'll get through it. Certainly. Uh, speaking about uh, an, uh, one more important duty as a part of just observing and praying uh, and being with the family is uh, zakat, one of the five pillars of Islam besides fasting, prayers, hajj, so and uh, the kalima. So could you tell us a little more about uh, zakat, uh, how important it is and what should people do uh, with zakat? For this month yeah Saka is one of the one of the pillar as you, as you mentioned is a third pillar of Islam that's where we give um, from the money we have to the poor and needy and there's no yes. better time can be for giving this donation or zakah hmm. then now we're we going through COVID-19 and it's not necessary that we have to do it here, but we have the people around the world. We look at, uh, at the moment, uh, the countries like uh, third world country. I, I'm very sad, sorry to say that third world country, but they, they are in a very poor level. They live on a daily basis. They go for work and earn the money and they live on that money. They, they, don't, they don't have this luxury as we have in, in, in New Zealand for us. Yes. So this is the best time. Look out for it. If it's your, as a Muslims, we have to look out that who is the best person that we can give. Talk with your family members and make sure they are okay and, and try to support them during this time. And of course, Zakah may be not able to use on somewhere where you got a family member involved, but at least they can identify where you can use it and I think make the most of it because you will have the biggest reward during this time. Uh, I would also like to mention that in New Zealand, the Zakatul Fitter for this year is a $10 that yes. can be given to any center you are, you're uh, linked with. And yes. Uh, yes. I think you shouldn't be delaying for the last day because you're not, you will not, probably wouldn't have a chance to go and possibly go for eat prayer as well. So, so we, I'm, always, I'm always optimistic. Yes, it will happen, but try to give it as quick and as early you can to uh, um, reputable organization where you know that they will be using it wisely yes. or correctly here. Um, one important part of this uh, Ramadan is Tarawi. So we, uh, as we heard earlier also that you would like to encourage families to pray together uh, Tarawi. So would you say that uh, should they pay a regular 20 rakat Tarawi or can they make a concession on that when praying as a family? See, Tarawi is generally, is, is, is not comes under the fries. Um, that you, it's not the compulsory thing. 
is, is uh, that you must have to do it, especially if uh, you are not the memorizer of the Quran or Hafiz of the Quran. Yes. So uh, in this case, if you can do it easily, whatever you can do easily, you should be doing it. Um, as I said earlier, in our Islam, there is no compulsion that you must have to do it. Um, and uh, try to do your best, whatever you can do. If you can do 10, you should be doing 10. I was, looking at, this I was looking at this morning a uh, fatwa uh, from um, the Harmain Mosque from, uh, uh, from the Imam of the Kaaba. And uh, they, uh, they, they, they have uh, sort of advised to do it 10 only this year. So um, it's, it's, it's all on you. As much about that you will do is better, but yes, yes. Um, you don't have to be stick with the 20. This is a special time, it's a presentable yes, time yes. that we have to be, uh, as long we dare, whatever we're doing it for our family and not putting a stress level up for them because yes, you are there for yes. whole night and uh, your wife is just holding the babies and yes, you're just yes. focusing on, so it's part of Ibadah that you also take part in your housework as well and it yes, will give you yes. the similar reward inshallah ta'ala by the God willing. Oh, uh, thank you so much uh, brother Nawaz. Uh, is there a last thing, uh, the five do's, top do's and don'ts for this month? Okay, and uh, the most important thing is that uh, keep uh, track of your time. Um, yes connect with the Quran and have some sort of activity that will keep you in a track and take your stress level down and also have the healthy diet. Yes. Um, and uh, as I said earlier, Dua is the best uh, tool or weapon <laughs> for, yes. for, so, uh, and, for and, and to, Not to forget, uh, no, uh, not just pray for the, for the community over here, but also for the whole world who are actually suffering with this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, not just uh, uh, the in country, but all over the globe. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. That's the part when, when you're doing dua that could be for everyone in this world. And it's not necessary for the Muslims only, it's for the whole world because this COVID-19 is not for the Muslims, it's for everyone. There's no race, there's no restrictions there. And um, so we, we just have to be sort of uh, in, in with that, that when we make dua, that we ask for the, for the whole world that we can inshallah, get through this inshallah, inshallah thank you so much brother nawaz for sharing this uh, information with us so the key points over here which uh, brother nawaz uh, uh, repeated uh, time and again that uh, it is going to be challenging uh, first thing there is a lockdown and second thing that people are going to be at home sharing the space during uh, the fast so make sure uh, make sure the stress levels are down take a workout uh, go outside, involve yourself with family, uh, with the family in cooking, in preparing for the food, everything as he mentioned is considered ibadah in the eyes of Allah. And uh, and uh, yes, have a great Ramadan ahead. Uh, thank you so much once again, Brother Nawaz, for speaking to us and giving us this insight. We shall be uh, speaking more during this month, uh, uh, knowing more what more people can do.